guys today we are going to read a book that it's called the giving tree by shell silverstein if you want to see his picture his picture is right here he was a famous artist but he died someday but what's up guys today we are going to read the giving tree by Shell Silverstein. If you want to see his picture, his picture is right here. And he's still alive. So, if you want to see him, just search Silver, Silver, Shell Silverstein, and you can see him. So, guys, we're going to start reading it. Remember, shh, keep your hands to yourself. The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein for Nikki. Who's Nikki? Well, we're going to find out in the story. Once there was a tree, and she, so it was a girl, and she loved a little boy. And every day the boy would come, he and he would gather her leaves and make them into crowds and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk and swing from her branches and eat apples. <laughs> they play and they would play hide and go see. And when she was tired, she would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree very much, and the tree was very happy. But time went by, and the boy grew older, and the tree was often alone. One day, then the boy came to the tree and and the tree said, come boy, come and climb up a trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and have and play in my shade and be happy. I'm too big to climb and play, said the boy, and want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, the tree. I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you'll have money, and you will be happy. So the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. But the boy stayed away for a long time, and the tree was sad. The so one day the boy came back with the tree, shook with joy, and then he said, Come boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. Uh, I got this messed up. I'm sorry guys. That was a mistake. Yeah, that's fine. I do like this. Yeah. Where was the page? Okay. So we fit that part. Okay. We got it right here. But the boy stayed away for a long time, and the tree was sad. Then one day, the boy came back, and the tree shook with joy and said, Come, boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I am too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm. I have no house, said the tree. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house. But I may cut my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. So the boy cut off her branches and carried away to build this house. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was happy that he would hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered, come and play. I am too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that can take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? 
cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sit away and be happy. Why would he do that? So the boy cut down her trunk and sailed away. Poor tree. And so and so the boy cut a trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy but not really. And after a long time there the boy came back again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone, my teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy, my branches are gone. Said the tree, you cannot swing on them. I'm too old to swing Apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I'm too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I'm too tired to climb, said the boy. I'm sorry, said the tree. I wish I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I'm just an old stump. I'm sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. I, just a quiet place to sit and rest. Well, very tired. Well, said the tree. As straightened, straightening herself up as much as she could, well, old stuff is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down, sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. So guys, what did you like about it? What was the moral of the story? What was what was the plot of the story? What did you understand of the story? Did you understand good things or bad things? Tell me in the comment section. Bye bye. Remember, it's Emmy and Matt, and don't forget, it's reading time. Stay happy and rise up. Bye.